What's up, my DoorDash gang? What's up, my Grubhub gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Owl, coming at you with another video. What it do, what it do, family? Hope everybody's doing well on this beautiful Forgive Me Friday. Boy, I tell you, God is good. This guy playing games with the, um, with the, um, sign. They told me to stop then. They told me to go and then they told me to stop again, so... I'm gone. I ain't got time to play with these signs, man. But today is forgiveness Friday, man. Family, you had to forgive somebody or ask somebody to forgive you. I don't know what I'm going to do today. But <laughs> I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm on my second uh, Chick-fil-A order. I also want to thank Lord for waking me up this morning because it's truly a blessing to be on this earth for me. Yeah, to deal with everything that I deal with, I feel like Groundhog Day, but it's all good though. I'm only gonna put on you what you can bear, man. Ah, coffee is, is is good. I got a 16. I'm great. You know what I mean? I got my ear itch inside. I hate that feeling. Y'all had to excuse me for the noise I make. I know it's irritating. But, going to check for that. We got to get gas, too. I forgot about that. Let me check the account. Got to make sure we got gas. Clear. All right, so we going here. I wish I was making that money when you didn't have to check your account. <laughs> you just know what's in there. You know what I mean? I don't know what's in there. So I have to check it. That's what I was telling the exec, one of the executives on the job. I was letting them know how bad, how, how underpaid his supervisors are, you know. I said, I'm pretty sure in your garage you have a different vehicle than everybody in here. I'm pretty sure that when you get up in the morning, you, the first thing you don't do is check your account. I'm pretty sure you don't live paycheck to paycheck. But if you can understand what I'm saying, then you understand that neither should we. You know, if we making your dollars, if we providing you with a nice salary, but doing what we do, at least can repay us by getting us up to standard with the rest of the supervision, supervisor world. Because I can tell you, yeah, we definitely underpaid. For the amount of work we do in that facility, we are definitely underpaid. Hold on, family. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. Let's see what you're talking about. Say, please do. Check us out. All right, we're gonna get some gas in this car. Coffee on point. What's up, Trini? How you doing? Lynn doing the dude, Kim C. How y'all doing, man? Bamba don't break down. And what's up? Lillian, how you doing? Good to see you back. Scott Brilla, my friend. Where the hell are you? I hope you're doing well. I hope your mom's doing well. You know, Freddie, what's up? Jeff, what's up, man? Ashley, what's up? Everybody that continue to watch the channel. What the hell is up? How you doing? All right, DoorDash tried to get me yesterday, man. I thought I had a nice order, man. It said $15, man. It was three orders all together. No, it was $12, I'm sorry, $12. It was three $3 order all together. So before I swiped, some said, hey, check it out. So I checked it out, I was like, oh no. The last $3 order was like 
like six miles outside my jump zone. So I, I didn't do it. But I was like, come on with these sneaky tactics, man. Ah, stop trying to fool people. Even though all of them was at the same restaurant, it was the fact that um, all of them was different areas. And the last one was six hours, I mean six hours, six um, miles outside of my zone. Which that last one was probably worth about nine dollars. So I couldn't, I, I, I just couldn't do it. That's just two less, that's money. You know what three dollar order is? That's just them ordering and you just getting your 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 base pay is no tip involved, it's no extra um, DoorDash not giving you nothing, all the customers not giving you nothing. Which is cool. But let it be six dollars. Don't let it be three dollars. The hell Sam going on here? Come on, man. Give me a second. I gotta check something out, fam. I'm bad, family. Oh, man, y'all ready for the weekend? I'm ready for the weekend. I gotta work Sunday, but I'm gonna be late. I got a huge tournament that I gotta go to. And uh, I'll be a little late. So, other than that, family, I hope y'all have a safe weekend. I'm, I'm dashing all day Sunday because I need money to, to make the tournament. So, yeah. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get busy. Oh, man. I need a great day, man. Great, great day. So I got to take care of something with the wifey this morning. So I'm only going to dash to about 10, 11 o'clock. It's eight and nine, so that gives me an extra two hours. It'll give me about two hours of dash time. So I'm gonna dash. Come on, Avalon, whatever the hell. Stop playing, man. I got a order. Chick fil A is always back. So let's get over here and get this order so we can feed these people don't know you should know by now your boy kingfish love the early morning man i couldn't get up this morning i'm trying to get i'm trying to um reserve my energy because i know friday night we're gonna have a long day i hope um our day shift team continue to come in and provide us with that extra help man uh, i just want to say to the uh, family i appreciate you i appreciate what y'all doing helping us out so, definitely appreciate that. All right, fam, I'm going to get this Chick-fil-A order. I'll be right back. If I can find it. There we go. Who we picking up for? Who we picking up for? Cabana? Sound right to me. All right, I'll be right back, fam. All right, fam, it's crazy here. I don't know what's going on. Chick-fil-A is backed up so bad. I don't know how long I'm going to be sitting here, but I'm trying to get out this mess as soon as possible. I see you, heifer. Y'all think I'm going to sit here, you crazy in hell? She blowing her horn. I'm just trying to get out. Got what I need. So I don't know how drive through got backed up so bad, but they closed the lobby down. So I don't know if they shorthanded or what. All right, where we going at, man? Come 
Kavana, you might be a little late. Your liver has a refined map. Oh, Plantation Boulevard. Okay, it's going right by the crib. If I can get out. Get through, my man. I ain't trying to hold you up. I'm just trying to get through. Let me squeeze on through here, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. All right. That's how we do. <laughs> we work that thing. Man, these people are hungry for some Chick fil A chicken. You know, it's closed on Sunday, so people said, damn, that they're getting their chicken in day. So packed out here, they got the cops sitting out here. Wow. It must be shorthanded. Mm. Coffee is a 16 all day long, guys. Ooh. Packed with flavor. Mm. Yes, sir. So I did call DoorDash to find out what's going on with my other um, other thing, um, missed delivery, or the people said they didn't have their food. Uh, they said it's still on the investigation. I was like, hell, it's been about two months. What did y'all investigate? You know what I mean? I told you what happened. The man put it, uh, apparently, the guy, girlfriend ordered for him. Right? And her name was Maria. The woman that came out to get the food, her name was Maria also. So, Maria also had an order probably from Chick fil A. And by her name being Maria, and I'm getting that before the other order get there, she got my food because her name was Maria and his name was Robert. I guess she got her other food too. But she probably didn't check and see if that was somebody else's food because she probably already ate it. Robert called one to know where the hell his food was at. I was like, well, I don't have an order for Robert. I have an order for Maria. He said, that's me. I said, okay. And you got to talk to your girlfriend. <laughs> Tell her next time she order, put it under your name. But anyway, fam, enough of that. If they, if they, if, if uh, I lose that, I lose it. I only got one. It won't happen. I'm still asking for it. Can I see your ID? Because these strikes they give you, man, they set you up for um, getting, un, you know, getting, um, what's it called? I'll be right back, fam. I'm back, family. Uh, yeah, it got a little warm up in here. Sea Harbor. Alright, so this Dunkin' Donut order, we had two. I just dropped one of them off. Just got off the phone taking care of some business. Alright. Excuse me, young lady. Don't want to run you over. Alright, come on. Get out the way, man. Oh, I had to clean my glasses off. Man, these glasses, man, they get, man, you can't even touch these things, man. These things get foggy, messed up, handprint. I spend more time cleaning than anything. It's crazy. All right. Woman asked me, I had to apologize to her because when I dropped off her, her stuff, I realized that I ain't had no straws. And normally I keep all this extra stuff in my car. Today, I didn't have no straws because I gave all my straws out. And I felt so bad, but she home. I was like, I apologize. Um, they didn't give me no straws. She said, it was your responsibility to get the condiments and this and that. I ain't get offended, nothing. I was like, yeah, I apologize because I didn't, I had two orders. I didn't realize that they didn't give me straws. 
She's like, this is unacceptable. I said, all right, man, do what you got to do. You know, you got your order. I don't have no straws. Just let DoorDash know that I fail you on the straw. She said, well, I'm not going to give you no good rating. I said, likewise. You know, I gave her a good rating because it was not her fault. It was my fault. I should have made sure I got straws. I was about to ask, do you want me to go get you some straws? <laughs> but, you know, I understand. Because, you know, it's truly it's my fault. My job is to make sure customer service. So I failed today, God. I failed in customer service. So the lesson would be for the day, please make sure that you got everything you need when you leave. That way you don't have to go through what I just went through. It was totally my fault. I'm going to take the blame on this one. I still gave her a smiley face, even though I know she's going to give me a bad rating, which I really don't care. I do care, but I can't worry about it because I dropped the ball. When I dropped the ball, I'm cool. Yep. So they gave me two orders, and I didn't even check. Didn't even realize that it was no straw, and they got two iced coffees. So. And I keep all this stuff in the car, man. If she would have asked for some napkins, <laughs> so it's um, ketchup or something like that man I've been straight some red pepper whatever oh snap I'm about to go fast but I swear to be going fast I think I'm going to do one more order I'm going to call it a day oh yeah, hold tight man Turn left on Sea Harbor Lane. Sea Harbor Lane. Okay. 8517. Okay. These are a little tricky. These apartment here is a little tricky. 8517. Okay, right here. 8517 right here. Bam. First responder. All right, family. Let's see what we got here. This is leave it out the door and hand it to me. Hand it to customer. Two or eight. Be right back. I'm back, family. All right. Easy money today. Easy money. All right, we're gonna do one more order. Then I got. We gotta go to the store. Come on, man. Where's my septum rating at? Hold on. Let me, let me see what my septum rating is before I turn this order down. Don't let me do it. Rating. So, oh yeah, I'm gonna turn this down, man. I'm not doing no three dollar order, man. Once you do a three dollar order, man, that's all they're gonna send you, man. I can get my septum rates back up. Your septum ratings, in case you knew, um, you can get that back up. You just have to do more orders. So you pick a day, and you don't turn down no orders. You get yourself back up to ninety. I'm at, I'm at, um, I think eighty two now. I was just at 83. 4.83. Okay, now that's a little better. It's a $6 order. See, I had to turn down a $3 to get a $6. So, I mean, that's what you got to do sometimes. Now, back in the day when I first started, it was a little different. Because I felt like, this was this is just my opinion. I felt like every time I, I um, turned down an order, it took me an hour and sometimes hour and a half to get another order. This is no exaggeration. So in my mind, I said, okay, then DoorDash pays you back. If you turn down the order, they get, they'll give you one when they want to give you one. So that's why I said I accept everything. But we never had $3 order. We never had $3 order back in the day. It was nothing under $6. Only time you got a $3 order was when, um, just say if you were already on an order and they send you a $3 order. But DoorDash used to have a cap at $6. A 
I'm lying, I'm flying. I never got anything under $6. That's why I enjoy, that's one of the reasons why I stopped doing Uber Eats. Because Uber Eats will give you a $2 order and send you 1,900 miles. You know what I mean? But DoorDash, it was nothing under $6. They just started this this year with the $3 when they changed the pay rate. That's when they started this. We never got nothing that $4 or $3. It was six or better. And six was around the corner. All right, KJ. All right. All right, family. I'll be right back, man. Be back. I'm back, family. Oh, I think I had a missed call. Mm. Give me one second, family. I'm back, family. Wifey checking on me. This is our last order. And I'm going to take care of things, guys. If you didn't hurry, if you live in Florida, or if you live anywhere, uh, please go get you some stuff because uh, Walmart is uh, letting people know, especially here in Florida, that, uh, that they're going to be running out of toilet paper and stuff like that but they should never run out of toilet paper so what they should do right now is, is cap you only can get one you only can get two instead of letting people come in there and get a woman the other day we went to walmart we, we didn't go shopping but i didn't understand why she came out with like 12 things of toilet paper that is crazy you know what i mean so put a limit on it now that way everybody can come in and get what they got to get I wish I was in the toilet paper business, man. See, it's a, and whoever created toilet paper, I know, I know it's been around for a long time, because back in the day, they used to use leaves. So, you know, <laughs> God put smart people in place to give us what we need. But, that was brilliant. I should invest in a toilet paper company and get paid. Toilet paper and water. The bare minimum necessity that you need people are, are billionaires off of it. And I'm sitting here thinking, why well, I didn't think about that. And then you can't you can't capitalize on it because I, I know this person that got locked up last year. He what he did was he bought uh, Turn left on so North much toilet paper. Then make a U turn and he stockpiled it. And what he messed up at is when he was selling it online was doubling and tripling the prices. That's when you get in trouble. He was making a killing too. They got him. You know, I don't know the story behind it, but I just remember when they they talked about it. FBI talked about this person and whatnot. I don't see nothing wrong with it. What I do see something wrong with is price gauging. Turn but left. If you're gonna lock somebody up for that. Then you need to lock some of these people up now for price gas gauging, like the gas prices. You know, like some of these phones. You got phones out here they selling for four or five hundred dollars, but then when you go when the, you pay for the phone, they don't buy it back for four or five hundred dollars. They give you uh, I'll give you thirty dollars for it. You know what I mean? That's what government should be locking down on. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just ranting. What time is it? I'm just ranting. But go to Walmart. Go to Sam. Oh. Get that toilet paper. Because when Joe Biden get in, man, he going to do the right thing, man. And I know some of y'all going to be upset. But, man, coronavirus has not disappeared. At all. We just got some dumb people out there like all of, and god forgive me if you're a trump supporter and you're on my channel this, and you feel a certain way i understand but when trump was having his rally y'all fools didn't even put your mask on y'all just went out there and what's called now everybody in the white house half of everybody in florida when when they showed trump coming to town and in, in the part of florida nobody had no mask on not one supporter had a mask on and i'm saying to myself i'm glad Anybody that I know was not at that rally. 
because I guarantee you when people left there, they either left as a carrier or they was affected by coronavirus. You know what I mean? You gotta be safe, man. You can't be idiots all the time. All right, where the hell are we going at? We are going to... Oh, fuck. Leave it at my door. 13... 305. 1305. Oh, wait. I heard my man fired the, um, he fired somebody for saying that, you know, it's gonna be a smooth transition. Okay, with... you turn on North 56th Street. Then turn right. I think it is a security advisor, whatever. Yeah. I'm trying to say, man, what? We don't speak about Turn left. Then turn right on North 56th Street. Turn right on North 56th Street. Right. Then turn right. Turn right. Then turn right. Aye. Shoot. Saying the same old thing over and over. See, this is what y'all don't see. Y'all see how she treat me? 305 right here. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Damn it, I'm turning right. All right, fam, I'll be right back. Y'all had to excuse my outburst. All right, fam, I'm back. Uh, that was a quick $32 and three hours. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Oops. No, no, no. Confirm. Oh, yeah. Let's hurry up and get off the line. Okay, I go take care of my stuff. Get the wife in real quick. Oh, two hours. Holy dash for two hours. Almost three hours. Come on, woman, let me get out. Damn. Oops. Oh, she laughing at me. I done went to a dead end. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of her way. And she watched me go the wrong way. My GPS laughing at me because she said, you should have had me on. No, I should Driving brother crazy. Must have been a, a woman DNA to drive a man crazy. Or vice versa. <laughs> Even the intelligent is driving you crazy. All right, let's take care of this now. All right, family, I'm doing good so far. I'm going to dash all day tomorrow. I get uh, right for this tournament, so I'm gonna dash all day tomorrow. That's what I do. All right, family, I got it good to go. I gotta go take care of the wife. We got some things we gotta do. We gotta head up to the store. Uh, Walmart sent a blast out saying that uh, they're gonna be limited on toilet paper and cleaning supplies due to. Uh, the way people are buying so they were just letting us know so we're gonna go up here and get some stuff so we can be safe and continue to practice safe measures all right family with that being said this is your boy kingfish aka big Al. i'm out guys if you're dashing keep dashing if you're grubbing keep grubbing if you're not dashing you're not grubbing you better get yourself some dashing warm all right family love you peace